What I want to cover in this video is to show you how to create a unique permission in SharePoint Online that prevents a user from deleting uh, files or content that's up there. So generally by default a user is able to create documents and delete documents that they uh, upload plus any others that may also be in there because it's all about collaboration. So let's say that we want to create a uh, capability in a document library that allows users to create, uh, to read, to write, but to not delete the document. So let me just show you what the normal experience is. So if I go into a document library here, you'll notice that I'm logged in as an ordinary user here. So I'm logged in as Lynn. So what I'm going to do is just create a Word Online document and I will show you what the experience is like for a user. So this is the normal experience we would expect that the user can go in and they can uh, create a document and they will be able to uh, then save that document. You'll see it has saved up the top there. All right, so then if we go back to the library here and refresh the page, we should see that uh, new document has been listed there. All right, so again, we could go in, we could edit it uh, as we would expect. But what I'm gonna do here is you'll see that I can now go in and delete that. All right, and then if I wanted to, I could also, as the user, go in here and also delete this uh, from the recycle bin. So let's say that we want to create an environment where we don't want users to be able to do that yet allow them to collaborate. So what I need to do is I need to log in as an administrator. So logged in as the administrator here in a, another browser session. What I'm going to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner for that site. You'll see that I'll select the option here called site permissions. And then down the bottom there is an option here called advanced permission settings, which I will select. This will bring me into the traditional SharePoint style uh, permissions where you'll see that we have three people, uh, three groups that do have permissions in this area and they are set to edit, full control and read. Now what we need to do here is go up to the top and select the option you'll see here called permissions levels. And what that will allow us to do is to edit and also create a new permission level. So what you see here is we get the standard one, so the full control, or design, edit, contribute, and read. Now to create a new one, we could certainly go and select the add a new permission level, but we would need to then create uh, that environment from scratch. It's much easier to select one that's close. So let's go and select the option here, which is contribute. All right, so you'll see this is um, the standard contribute. You'll notice that it provides the ability to delete items. But if we scroll down the bottom, you'll see that there is an option here to co copy the permissions level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to uh, rename that to uh, contribute. And in this case, also note that we are also going to make it not delete. Now, once I've renamed it, what I'll need to do is just go through these permissions and say, look, I don't want the user to, or this permission to allow the deletion of uh, items or versions. Let me just go through here and make sure there are no other options that I want to uh, unselect. So you'll see that, again, we have uh, removed the permission to delete versions and also delete the items. So let us create that, and that will now appear in our list of permissions for this site. So you'll see it. Uh, listed here. Now what I need to do is go to the area I wish to apply that. So what I'll need to do whoops, is go to uh, basically my uh, document library. Okay, so let me go back to my document library and go to the cog in the top right hand corner again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to the library settings and I'm going to manage the permissions for this document library. Now as noted before, before members have the ability to edit. Now this is what we want to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop inheriting the permissions and agree to that. So we're now going to set unique permissions for this library. What we're going to do then is select that group, right? So the members group, and what we're going to do is we're going to edit their permissions. So that will come, you'll see that the edit permission gives can add, edit, and delete lists, view, edit, and delete items, right? So we don't want that, we want to unselect that, and we want to select our new permission, which you'll now see listed down the bottom here. So this is now our contribute, no delete. So if I now go okay, that permission has now been applied to the members of the group. So let me go back to the uh, user in question here. Let us refresh this page. 
just to uh, bring in those uh, new permissions and let us go in and repeat that process again. So let's create a Word uh, document as that user. So again, everything the same uh, as it was before. And you'll see that that is now uh, saving in the background. That has now completed its save. We go back in here and once again, just refresh and we will see the uh, document that is listed here. All right, so if we now select that document and hit the delete key, all right, you'll see that basically nothing happens. So if I then select this and you'll see in this list here that I don't have the option to delete it. I also don't have the option uh, listed across the top here. So I have removed that capability to delete for the user in question, but of course they can still go back into the document and they can edit it and obviously create new documents. It is exactly the same as it was before, but what we've done is with that permission, we have now prevented the user from going in and deleting that or deleting any of the versions that we set up in that permission. So again, if we go in here, you'll see there is no option there uh, for delete. Let's go into more just to make sure so there's nothing in there. Okay, and then if we also go to the menu across the top, you will see that there are Again, no options there to uh, allow the deletion of this file. Now, of course, as the administrator, we would want the capability um, for that to be able to delete. So if I go back into here as the administrator, and if I delete this document here, again, that is as normal, um, I will uh, delete the file. Okay, so it's now been removed. If I go back to uh, that user and refresh the page here, You'll see that has been deleted as expected. So the way that we did this is that we went into the location or the site as an administrator. We went up into the site permissions. We also selected the option to go to advanced permissions. We then went in and went to the permissions levels up here and created a new unique permission by copying uh, one of the existing ones. That was the quick and easy way to do it. And then once we'd done that, we went into the location, in this case, our document library. We then went in and modified the um, permissions for that item. All right, so if we go into the permissions again for this document library. So in this case, I went in and uh, edited the permissions for uh, this member group here. Now, once we've created this uh, capability inside our SharePoint site, it will be available to every item in this, our document libraries, our pages, our lists, and so on. So this way we can set up a permission that allows users to create, to upload, to edit documents, but preventing them from deleting those items. So again, hopefully that video has given you some handy hints on how you can manage your SharePoint environment a little bit better. Thank you very much for watching the video.